we're back from gallivanting in New Zealand and James has a new identity. James is currently Gigi, a Fiat 500, electric. And this is our first trip, long trip, to Brussels. And we are testing the battery, we are testing the long distance driving and we are testing, testing our idiots that <laughs> can't drive. We found an Ionity station. I am so happy. We have 100% battery and it tells us that it can do 266 kilometers. Now we have some doubts about that and it already warned us when, we, when Gary put the address it said that you'll need to charge so. And also it's raining. Yeah but we're in no rush so nope. we don't need to. Well it's good that it's raining we're not gonna be tempted to do 130 in this little cacahuete. The speed limit's only 120 in Belgium. Yeah that also. So we quite like it. Made in Torino as you can see. So let's talk about Gigi a bit. Gigi has, do we know, how big battery do we have? 42 kilowatts. Compared to James? James had 80 point something usable. Okay. So we have a bit smaller battery. But we have all the other funky things. We have lane keep assist. We have, the, we have a camera actually also, which is quite spectacular for this car. What else do we have? Uh, adaptive cruise control, heated seats, wireless charging. It's a convertible. <laughs> yeah, it's a little Rosso Adrenalina Red La Prima Cabriolet. And we have arrived in Belgium. Did you see the sign? It was upside down. Well, and the conditions are like the most hideous for a little electric car. So we're on the return journey from Brussels and this time the lane keep assist works. It's up here because on the way down, or sorry, on the way up from Brussels, it wasn't to Brussels, it wasn't working. But now we know that was because there was so much rain. And now we have much better driving conditions. The road is dry. I don't think there's as much wind as there was when we drove up. No, um, there's a lot less rain because yeah. there's none, but it was yeah. horrendous so, the drive up. And I'm curious to see how all that affects the range because we had to fill up, so to speak, twice yeah. when we went to Brussels. And now when we left the hotel, we had 75, I think, in the yeah, about battery. That. And we decided to stop already here because they have char fast chargers. And they're less expensive than the slow charger in the hotel. Crazy expensive. Yeah. And we used to pay, I think it was uh, 39 cents a kilowatt something like that and it was a, like a fixed price yeah so yeah yesterday we charged for two hours and it cost us about 20 euros yep. and we were like say what so we decided to stop here uh, it's quite different to the BMW let's put it this way a lot smaller battery yeah yeah but other than that it's a spanky car it's uh, small and compact and that's what it says in the tin the GPS will see. Yeah, we're not exactly. I don't know what's going on with the GPS. It was trying to send us all over the place in Brussels. We found an Ionity station. I am so happy. And so is Mr. Mister. And how much are we charging? 76. 76. Because we have 101 kilometer left. And we think that we are done with the biggest hills now so we are kind of on top of the the highest point unfortunately the rain is back Perché bella <laughs> 